You don't need a big aquarium to enjoy the color and personality of cichlids. All about the dwarf acara in this fincast. Oh, we use the uh, extreme fish food quite a bit in our shop. Um, we like it very much. Uh, it's very palatable for the fish. We, uh, a lot of times fish that don't eat other things will eat the pellets, which is a great thing. This inexpensive dwarf cichlid has a lot of nicknames. I've seen it listed as the dwarf flag cichlid, the flag acara, the smiling acara, sheep's head acara, blunt head cichlid, and red breast smiling cichlid. Its genus, Laodicara, has seven distinct species, which can be difficult for the average hobbyist to tell apart. But for the most part, all these fish have the same needs and behaviors. Hi everybody, John here. I'm in my fish room today with another FinCast. I call it a fish room, but really this is some space that I've carved out in a junk room in the basement of the house. we got the Christmas decorations over here, the camping supplies over there. But really what I want to talk about is this 10-gallon tank that I kind of salvaged to set up for these dwarf cichlids. Uh, by the way, I think that what I'm going to do is call these guys the smiling acaras because that's the word that's closest to their actual Latin name. This 10 gallon tank was really a mess. I was using it basically just to hold all the plants that I was pulling out of my other aquariums when I, they had too many plants in them, but I couldn't bear to throw them away. And they were all just kind of floating in here. So I pulled it out and started doing a little uh, aquascaping, bought a filter, didn't even have a filter on it, and it's turned into a nice little project. After the initial aquascaping, I felt like there needed to be more hiding places. So I grabbed a handful of rocks from the local riverbank and placed them with ample spaces in between. The Akaras had been quarantined for several weeks and they were ready for their new home. Tank water was added to a bucket. Then I set up drip acclimation by siphoning water from their new tank into the bucket and tying a knot at the end of the airline tubing so the water trickled in slowly. After about half an hour, I added the fish to their new home, joining four juvenile guppies as dither fish. Almost instantly, these little dwarf acaras or smiling acaras colored up beyond the blah silver they'd been showing in their bare-bottomed quarantine tank. They swam into all the crevices, exploring and searching for food, and honestly, they're so small, they weren't even a threat to the juvenile guppies. In less than 15 minutes, they were eagerly eating the peewee pellets from Extreme, which have a track record of helping to get fish into breeding condition. As you can see, this is a peaceful species of cichlid. It won't bother your plants. It's tolerant of a wide range of water parameters. And in the wild, by the way, it does come from the lower Amazon basin in Brazil. The males are slightly larger than females. In my case, it looks like I may have three of each, but these fish are only about three quarters of their full grown size, so things might still change. According to the internet, the fish is easily bred in captivity and a pair can live happily in a 10 gallon tank. So my plan now is to hope that a pair forms. If that happens, I'll probably pull the other four out. I've got lots of nice homes for them as well. And then hopefully in the future, I'll be able to bring you a fin cast on the raising of the babies of these cute little acaras. But this is, this is a neat fish and I'm really enjoying this. There's a lot of information on this species on the internet. So I'll put some links to the articles that I read in doing my research in the description down below. Hopefully you'll find that interesting. I'm doing more and more videos uh, on cichlids. So if you'd like to see more of what I've done with the cichlids in particular, just click on the uh, link over here and, and, th and that'll take you there as well. I got to tell you that I'm a bit of a needy aquascaper, so I would really appreciate your comments down below if you see an opportunity that I've missed or if you like what I've done in my little 10 gallon tank, please leave your comments down below. Check out the Fincasters Facebook page as well. I haven't talked about that a lot here on the channel, but I've got a very active Facebook page. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop by, check out the new information I'm sharing there almost every day and, and give it a like. And of course, please hit the subscribe button down below. That helps the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.